Ram is trying to trick you into buying one of their 2023 leftovers by offering you a 15% discount from the factory. Don't take it because there's already a 20% loss in year one value from it having sat at dealership lots and it's only going to get worse because this is an aging model. The next few minutes are going to be packed with just enough details so that you can knock out a perfect Ram 1500 deal if you're hell bent on getting one after watching this video. I'm gonna go through inventory, invoice price, calculate a lease payment, and lastly, I'll tell you if it's even worth buying a used one or not. Sound good? Let's hop in. 25% of Ram inventory is 2023 inventory. There's about 10 to 11,000 Ram 1500s with about 30,000 2024. So obviously you're going to see a ton of F-150s if you're in the market for a pickup. However, that doesn't mean that Ram doesn't have a healthy amount of inventory just because it's got less. It's actually got quite a bit with about 41,000 units on dealer lots. The Bighorn and Laramie definitely share the bulk of the inventory with about 15,000 Bighorns and about 7,000. Laramies. I'm sort of curious which trim you've got picked out for yourself. Me personally, I've got a 2024 Laramie picked out. Mine has an MSRP of $70,005. Ram says it's only got a 5.5% markup, but after viewing one of these invoice sheets that a dealer has sent me, they do this thing where they list markup, then they do hold back, and then they do a couple other deductions, which really translate to about a 10% discount off of MSRP to get to invoice. The markup, if you ask me, is about 10%. Obviously, this is all hearsay based off of a sheet that I saw a little while back it's gonna lose 15 to 20% of its value in the first year. Now, because this is a 2024 and it hasn't already achieved a 20% depreciation yet, I do want you to target a 10% discount to make up for some of the depreciation that you're gonna take the moment that you turn the key and put it in drive. Ram right now is offering 3.9% at 72 months. This is only if you're not gonna be taking the 4,500 that they've got available in cash allowances. This drops severely to about $750 for lease customers. However, you can make up for it by qualifying for a conquest rebate, which basically you'd, be, you'd qualify for it just by having pretty much any newer car in the household. Lease program ain't too, too bad. 55% residual at 36 months for 12,000 miles a year and an ultra low 0.00013 money factor, which comes out to 0.031% APR. Now plug it in a $70,000 Laramie 1500 and assuming that we got this 10% discount, assuming we're giving our inception fees due at start and assuming that you've hit like and subscribe, we'd be talking about 672 bucks a month that's not including your state's sales tax i'm gonna give this a rating of a c plus money factors perfect residuals low but the money factors perfect i'm thinking the five-year resale on this thing is going to be about twenty-eight thousand dollars from what i'm seeing currently on the market for 2019s. The trade-in, eh, about 22 to 23K on a decent Laramie that initially sold for about 70K. Just a heads up, in the description below, you'll actually find a text summary of everything that I'm talking about in this video. Also, for a limited time, you can request that I prepare you a customized negotiation guide for the vehicle that you've got in mind, not the one that we're discussing tonight. So if you were to go on cargurus.com and search for a 2020 to 2021 40,000 mile or less Ram 1500, you're only going to get about 1,600 results. The big horns that I'm looking at on cargurus.com, a great deal is about 40K and a Laramie is about 48K. In my opinion, all this depreciation just ain't worth it. I would definitely lease it for that 0.31% interest and just give the truck back at the end of the lease and probably grab the new one. FYI, in the description below, you'll find multiple different resources in addition 
to this negotiation guide summary. And if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.